So here's what happened. Now I've done media. I've done able to do national media because I was an editor. I was doing some more speaking, getting paid little, if anything at all. But I would post that I was doing these things. Mm -hmm. And someone said, hey, you look like you're a speaker. Um, the organization I work for, they have a, they're sponsoring a TED event and they are down a speaker. And, oh. the events, and the events in six weeks. Do you want to throw your hat in the ring? And I was like, yes. So when people go, oh, were you always into this topic? No. I got on a call with this guy and he's like, do you have a topic? And I was like, uh, this is very rare. Usually you pitch an idea to yeah. TEDx and then you'll see if you get accepted. This was like, hey, we've got a slot to fill. Who's the best or the least worst person we could put in there? And he said, do you have any ideas? And I, who had always fantasized about doing a TED talk, but thought I was never going to be important enough to do one, said, I have a few things, topics that have always bothered me because I thought about it. Like, what are my opinions? Very important to think about. That's yeah. what makes yeah. an expert, not just expertise, an opinion about that expertise. So yeah. I said, you know, I really hate, I hate that people say things are faded. I hate that idea. And I also hate this idea of searching for your passion. He goes, that's interesting. Why? I was like, I don't know. It just bothers me. And we talked about it. And he goes, why don't you go write up some things and let's meet tomorrow. And I was like, okay. So I went away and I started writing the talk. Like I was like, okay, this is for real. I have this guy's attention. I'm wow. running. And so I wrote up some thoughts and I got on the next day. And he goes, interesting. Why don't you add a little bit more and outline a bit more and let's talk tomorrow. I got on a call with him every day that week getting this coaching. Wow. So he was trying to figure out if I had an idea. And I was trying to figure out if I had an idea. And, he was, and I was like, Mike, uh, the event's in six weeks. Like, do I need to buy a plane ticket? Like, what's happening? And he's like, yeah, 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 you're in. And you know why? Because I had a perfect idea and I had a perfect resume? No. Because he was like, there might be something here. And he helped me shape it. So that mm -hmm. is kind of unique. But... Mm -hmm. Here's how I got landed on that was that what bothers you? And I still use that as a prompt because I hate bad mm -hmm. advice. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, what does it mean? So whatever, you can watch the TED talk and you'll see. I wrote that thing line by line trying to figure out what I thought. And I didn't know what I thought until about two weeks before the event when I wrote. That's bananas, Terry. 